Hello YouTube, flashlight enthusiast here. Today something new again on my channel, Science Sky or Tsianski uh, brand flashlight. Uh, sounds a little bit like Polish origin, but I'm not really sure. Uh, anyway, they uh, contacted me and asked if I'd like to review some of the flashlights. So obviously I said yes, of course, bring them in. So here it is, the H. S6R flashlight with some mm, actually headlamp with some unique features that I would like to discuss in this review. So without further ado, let's get started. This is the box, very attractive one actually, with the flashlight picture here. Some unique features like the brightness. As you can see, we've got spot, flood, and red LEDs here. Maximum of 1400 lumens, 170 meters of throw, 60 hours max runtime, obviously in the moonlight mode. Type C charging, and we've got also a helmet mount uh, optional so actually pretty interesting one with uh, some live pictures how this uh, might look like inside we've got some runtime uh, table here as well as lumen levels so actually pretty good packaging with some contact and key statistics again here so let's open this up and show you guys what we've got inside all right so let's slide it out and here it is pretty standard plastic packaging so here is the flashlight itself we'll come to it later we've got uh, pretty good quality uh usb to usb-c charging cable reminds me a little bit of you know the iphone apple cable then this really resembles this one but maybe a little bit more uh, like you know harder cable and apart from this we also have some uh, manual Warranty card, uh, one spare O-ring. Oh, that's weird. Why not two? Okay, uh, and we've got this uh, helmet mount, so 3M tape, and that's basically it. Actually, the battery is also included. So before operating the flashlight, make sure to unscrew the tail cap, uh, the one opposite to the switch. So unscrew this one, and remember to remove the insulation film. Coming back to the flashlight itself, let's just clear one thing, all right? Because I'm recording this a couple of days after the intro and I already spoke to Mary, the company's representative, and she cleared out that unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, uh, the brand is actually pronounced as Cyan Sky, which is... Uh, which should mean the sunny and blue sky in a harmonious ecosystem. So any of you thinking that maybe the name has some Polish origin and should be pronounced like Tsianski, no, not really. It's Science Sky, all right? So let's just be clear about it. All right, so coming back to the flashlight itself, this thing is really amazing. I really adore this one. Uh, guys, what we've got here is we've got the main LED here, which is the SSD40 LED. Uh, in cool white and here we've got some auxiliary LEDs which is SSD 20 4000K95 CRI uh, floodlight and two of them here you can find uh, the red auxiliary LEDs which have both constant and blinking modes all right so we've got all metal housing we've got built-in uh, USB-C charging port the charging is quite fast for a headlamp uh, I really like that they included USB-C rather than micro USB which is a step forward nice very nice uh, it in my test it peaked around 1.75 amps and after two hours and 15 minutes we've got flashlight fully charged uh, the covers it's tight and well okay uh, here is the tail cap or the side cap I don't know how to call it properly but <laughs> it has nice quite thick spring all right looks really good um, the threads are quite thin but uh, well lubricated and inside we can find the science sky branded uh, 18650 battery this is unfortunately only 2600 million per hour so immediately i thought well why not put some sanyu ga for higher capacity battery for the tests but unfortunately as in case in the k3 i reviewed recently you can check the review right here uh, this flashlight only accepts button top batteries because the reverse polarity protection uh, built inside so unfortunately when you throw the Sanyu J which still has some button top yeah unfortunately the runtime is still impressive on this one but you can drastically improve it by accommodating higher capacity battery shall we make sure the tail cap is tightened all right 
and here we go all right we are fully operational here but uh, one thing to mention is the head strap we've got a nice cyan sky logo with this uh, cyan color here obviously uh, but as you can see we've got uh, only run strap around your head no other third strap uh, at the top here so while it is quite convenient and sits very comfortably on your hand uh, when you try to jog with the slide or have some you know more rapid movement uh, you might want to tighten this up a little bit just to make sure that the flashlight uh, headlamp won't actually slip off your forehead all right uh, Notice that we've got some metal frame here that holds the flashlight in place. Uh, but let me assure you, I checked this one on my forehead and uh, definitely uh, cannot complain about discomfort. All right, this this flashlight really sits comfortably on your on your forehead, and it's uh, I think the team get, did a very good job here. All right, uh, the flashlight itself is held by the metal frame here, so it is pretty inconvenient to you know remove the flashlight from the head strap, but it is obviously possible all right uh, let's look at the optics here uh, these are definitely custom made optics for this flashlight and the beam pattern is quite good for them one thing worth mentioning is that the optics are not covered by glass so they might get scratched easily uh, if you let them okay we've got two buttons actually we've got one rubber side switch and one metal uh, top switch if i may call it that way so the side switch will be responsible for operating the main led which is the sst 40 led in cool white i remind you and the metal switch will be responsible for operating auxiliary leds which is floodlight and red light all right the ui is pretty basically identical there are no special modes or anything like that uh, just plain functional ui so you have to hold the switch to turn on or turn off and then single click will advance to different modes all right so let me demonstrate this one to you so just hold the switch the side switch to enter the mode this is the spot optics so basically we've got nice focused hotspot but plenty of side light as well as you will see in the beam shot section so very nice beam pattern you can um, easily walk with it and see everything in front of you uh, both in front of your legs in a couple meters in front of you I and mean, this thing is actually quite throw right and single click will advance to medium high and turbo and one click again will go back to the low right and hold the switch to exit this this mode and then we've got second switch the metal one hold again to enter the here we've got the red leds so both of them one click to go to the blinking red and then one click to go into the low flat output as you can see much flatter and uh, also much more pleasant beam uh, in my opinion high cri warm white so one click to medium one click to high one click again to go into the red etc etc so five modes in the loop and obviously the flashlight has mode memory so it remembers the last used mode both in the uh, auxiliary LEDs and in the main switch and the great thing about this one is that I can actually use both channels at the same time so right so I can turn on the main LEDs and simultaneously turn on the red or maybe flat without any problems uh, the thing is that uh, once you enter higher modes on both channels simultaneously uh, the priority is always the main LED so while the main led will hold the brightness uh in full the flat led will actually decrease the brightness to allow the current flow into the main leds these are the modes i've measured on this cyan sky hs6r as you can see we've got pretty good alignment in what manufacturer states so i'm pretty satisfied with the result so let's proceed to the runtime graph section shall we Cyan Sky HS6R spot output in turbo mode. They included 2600 million power battery. So I measure around 1115 lumens to start. As you can see, the regulation is pretty well designed. Actually, it's excellent flat. But for the first five minutes, we've got standard linear brightness decrease due to the output, obviously. So we've got like four minutes, 46 seconds before the actual step down started from 978 lumens, which is an excellent result, actually. And over the next 10 minutes, uh, we've got like the fluctuation from uh, 570 lumens to 770 lumens with lowering amplitude before stabilization. And the stabilization is actually flat around 
575 lumens for over one hour and 45 minutes so excellent result actually with uh, such low capacity battery imagine what we can, we can do with uh, 3500 mAh battery at the same size uh, the body did actually 48 degrees so perfectly normal uh, well <laughs> excellent really excellent so let's jump just jump to high the same output so spot sst 40 led in cool white under the optics here i measured 514 lumens at startup and as you can see we've got nice stabilized carved output for around one hour and 55 minutes so like two hours um, the manufacturer stays three hours but uh, well the, the full output is, is available for like two hours but then the step down actually uh, prolongs this runtime but uh, this is really low output right so i would judge like uh, two hours it's, it's realistic 550 lumens for two hours is, is pretty good result about actually 47 degrees so very well all right, and again, we could extend this one with higher capacity battery, all right? Uh, here is the flat high, so uh, the SSD 24,000K9500, which is very nice, as I mentioned before. Uh, here, um, surprisingly, we've got the only mode that uh, does not feature flat stabilization, but rather linear decrease of output over time. Uh, but here we've got true three hour runtime, uh, around 448 lumens per at startup and the brightness linearly decreased over time uh, so after one hour we've got around 350 lumens after two hours we've got around 150 lumens and so on and so on all right the body did 50 degrees which is normal because you know the led used is much less efficient than sst 14 cool white so uh, it also produced more heat all right and here is the medium mode of flood output. So again, the SSD 24,000K95 CRI. And here, surprisingly, uh, with lower output, we've got flood output stabilization. It is excellent, actually. And we've got over eight and a half hours of runtime. Uh, in terms of flood stabilized uh, full output, we've got like almost eight hours. And this is 130 lumens and the body they achieve 40 degrees, so not very hot. All right, if you're interested in what happened when you combine the spot plus flat, because you can do this, uh, actually, we've got again flat stabilization, which is excellent. I really like this one. All right, I don't know what happened to uh, high output in flat that the linear decreased brightness, but here, look at, look at this one. We've got one hour and 20 minutes of full stabilized brightness before the output started to decrease. The step down in turbo output, or whatever you call it, the highest mode here, uh, we've got three minutes and 40 seconds from 1097 lumens with 60 second uh, step down to around 702 lumen level and it actually uh, could sustain like 700 lumens and the body did 50 degrees celsius uh, it did achieve a little bit less brightness than the claimed 1400 lumens i measured around 1264 lumens but it's pretty close so i would judge that it's perfectly fine uh, some post port and scissors uh, i could see you know after the the full step down every five minutes and the flashlight turn off automatically by itself after two hours and 24 minutes all right i was also curious about the red output because you've got additional red auxiliary leds around 10 lumens um, claimed i measure around 15 and as you can see here we've got also excellent flat output regulation uh, i tested around six hours and 30 minutes uh, in my test and as you can see the, the output is pretty flat uh, all the way over the six hours so pretty nice the one thing i forgot to mention is that it also features the built-in battery indicator so every time you press the switch doesn't matter which one you've got uh, the led coming under the side switch uh, either green flashing green red or flashing red uh, telling you how much power you have remaining in the battery so that's that's pretty brilliant here i am outdoors with the hs6r this is flat low flat medium flat high very pleasant beam ultra high cri very floody output from the optics so pretty useful for close-up work and walking around again this is red this is constant red so you can read map with this or look at something up close and the flashing red same brightness but just turning on and off automatically and flood low again so now let's switch up to spot this is spot low it's a pretty focused beam actually spot medium spot high 
and spot turbo now we are talking we've got nice focused beam for throwy uh, illumination but look at how much light we've got around us from this optics so you got plenty of light in front of you to know watch your steps and know where you're going but uh, you still have illumination a couple of meters in front of you it's a very nice beam pattern I like this one from this optics and you can also simultaneously also uh, turn on floody output as you can see right here so now let's switch between floody plus throwy and floody without any problem one-handed operation very s quick switch so i really like the user interface and overall beam pattern all right guys let's sum it up i really enjoyed reviewing this one uh thank you again science sky for providing me this one for review uh i think this is a definitely well made and designed model with a couple of things i would like to improve on future ones but definitely a solid piece of equipment uh full metal construction fast usb-c charging uh nice selection of leds uh, for both fro and flat and red auxiliary LEDs, which is brilliant. I like that you've got uh, two separate channels to configure the lightning needs for your own desires. Uh, I like how they how it sits on the frame and you can rotate this one, but you definitely won't be able to lose it uh, because it you know slips from the frame accidentally. This just won't happen. You've got nice battery indicator. The head strap is very comfortable. I wish they include the third one over your head to improve the stability. The other thing I would like to improve is definitely the use of flat top batteries. Uh, just, you know, not to be limited by one uh, that is included in the set, but rather have, you know, uh, the choice of your own and uh, maybe providing some higher capacity battery uh, if it's not in the set. So overall, very nice design, guys. Definitely recommending this one to you. Uh, I hope you find the video helpful. So guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for more videos to come and to support the algorithm. I will make sure to post the link to the store of the Science Sky. You can check out the HS6R. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.